So if they if they too young, if they under 25 and under, they don't know I wrote Want to Be a Baller. They don't know. I got mm -hmm. two songs on Drake L. They don't know Ooh, me and Slim put out talk, the first That's the truth. They don't know me if I put out. Didn't nobody know Flip when I was fucking with Flip. Flip came yes, up to me and told me, you my favorite rapper. Yeah, I you remember. Just, they don't know that. I took Fat Pat to the studio way back then. Ooh. Fat Pat didn't even write. He was just freestyle. You feel me? He was just freestyle. I took. I told Hawk. I said, Hawk, you can get paid rapping. Hawk said, Man, I just do it for fun. I told Screw. I said, Look, Screw, you can start a label. You be the head. Me, Pat, Key. Da, 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 da. Screw like, man, I really ain't trying to start no label. When I was at Rick Shop, I said, Man, I'm tired of this North and South shit. I say, Play me them Switch House nigga tape. I listen to the tape. I say, Who is the nigga with the deep voice? They say that's Slim Doug. I say, That's the nigga I want. Bring to the studio. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. The thing I can say about you when I go back and look at the Houston scene, man, I had DJ Cho's on here too. And I was always asking them about the older generation and the newer generation, you know what I mean? And bridging mm -hmm. that gap. So how is it, you know, as far as being from, you from Houston, mm -hmm. looking back at what was and what is now, how, how do you feel like the music is doing? Uh, Well, first and foremost, we had to force it. Like, okay, I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and act like, Back in the day, acquiring a feature was the easiest thing yeah. to do. Like, I mean, it was people I'd reach out to, try to pay. They wouldn't even take the money just because wow. of the music we was making. We wasn't making I Didn't Came Dying, Pop yeah. My Trunk. Yeah. Yeah. Typical Texas. Yeah, the music was different. The music, I was making the same music I'm making now, 10 years ago. But back then, they would look at it like it was just some party music, which mm -hmm. it was. It was, it was jumping. But I mean, at the end of the day, I just seen where the world was headed. and It was ahead I, of its time. Right, and I also made the music they make, but you gotta understand, like, I'm not them, and they not me. So they can't make my music, I can't make theirs, mm -mm. you feel me? I love the pocket I'm in, I try to stay in my lane. But back then, I had to force my way into being seen and respected, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. How do you think, is, or is there a come together? I seen Kiki did something where he brought sauce on it, but it, yeah. is, it, how do you guys, how do y'all link that, the young and the older down there? See, I I, I rock with everybody. I know. See, no. like, for example, when, 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 when the sauce first came out, they were trying to, other people were trying to make a difference between the sauce and the SUC, China, and I, but not me. Me and sauce walk with cool. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? So. Not from the same, same. I'm from the boot. You from the boot, but y'all, yeah. you came. So, yeah, you, you rock with. Yeah, so, yeah, but so, like me and B King been done a song together way back then. You feel what I'm saying? So many artists, you know, we, I, you know, I done did a song on Cho's beat way back then. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, when they first started. Right. So, so, my thing is, it's like this: if we in this room right now, and a new young artist come in the room. And he say, what's up, what's up, boss out, what's up, what's up, what's up, BSG? I'm the new nigga finna take over. Now, my whole perception of him is totally different. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if he come in the room like, hey, what's up, y'all, what's up, da-da-da-da, I'm a new artist, so-and-so, so-and-so, be looking out for my shit, I'm finna try to make some noise in the city. That's a whole different way of respect. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And people be thinking you're supposed to just automatically respect people that don't respect you because they don't be understanding the numbers. Same when you talk about the Jordan and the, and, and, and the Jordan and the LeBron talk. So if they if they too young, they under 25 and under, they don't know I wrote Want to Be a Baller. They don't know I got mm -hmm. two songs on Drake L. They don't know Ooh, me and Slim put out talk, the first man. That's the truth. They don't know me if I put out. Didn't nobody know Flip when I was fucking with Flip. Flip came up to me and told me, you my favorite rapper. Yeah, I you remember. Just, they don't know that. I took Fat Pat to the studio way back then. Ooh. Fat Pat didn't even write. He was just freestyle. You feel me? He was just freestyle. I took. I told Hawk. I said, Hawk, you can get paid rapping. Hawk said, man, I just do it for fun. I told Screw. I said, look, Screw, you can start a label. You be the head. Me, Pat, Key. Da, 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 da. Screw like, man, I really ain't trying to start no label. When I was at Rick Shop, I said, man, I'm tired of this North and South shit. I say, play me them Switch House nigga tape. I listen to the tape. I say, who is the nigga with the deep voice? They say, that's Slim Doug. I say, that's the nigga I want. Bring it to the studio. Slim come over there. Bam, we do that. Bam, do another one. Y'all niggas went down through there. Went down through there. After that, when me and Slim went did our business, 
we going there getting fifty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars checks. Was that after Pharrell or was that before Pharrell? That was before Pharrell. Pharrell that, that, yeah, that what that's what shot it that right. way. That's before that's before Pharrell, and so so so, we had a show in Dallas, and then I think Slim was like, man. You know, that's before we did the project. And he was, it was a whole switch out. He was like, man, there's about 12 of us on this show. Shit, they giving us like $2,000. We got to bust that down. bust that down. He's like, man, I'm ready to do my home shit. So that's how we wind up doing that. When we were in the models in the business, we, yeah. bust, we bust that down. Yeah, we, we bust that down right off top 50 50. You feel me? That's, 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 that's boss talk to me. It wasn't no like, oh, I'm going to take more for this, da da da. That's boss talk for me. You feel me? Yeah, they, for they, sure. We was in the same room with Money Lipton, uh, Steve Rifkin, you know, all these different people. And I just, they tried to get me and Slim like a $23 million deal right after the cash, you know, right then. The shit just didn't go down right. But, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you got to think about it, man. You walking in purpose. Mm -hmm. You really are. You really doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Really, we think we doing something, but it's already written. It's already written. Re you know what I'm saying? I, that's the way I think, man. Because a lot of time when a nigga could have been taken out, I was in the right place at the right time. Right. It wasn't at the wrong place, and we, we lost, lost a lot, lot of good people. people. You just named them. You named a bunch people. of them, man. Yeah. And that's the people. that's the game for me. Like um, when you uh, when you think about it, man, just. Being from the legacy when you came from Texas, I mean from Louisiana over to Texas, man, Bobo just pulled up. But when you when you came in like you did, man, at a young age, and then now you embrace the whole Houston thing, man, because a lot of times they're going to thank you from Houston because you done did a lot of work down there. Right. All the work down there. Right. You feel me? And I, I, I always look at it like. But you always keep it 100? Yeah. No matter what people say or what they do, I'm, not, I'm like a black sheep. I'm the black sheep. Because see, like, when Paint used to get painted on the walls and shit around the city. You'll see. It used to be everybody except me. A lot. You know, a lot of times. You feel me saying? So I just used to look at it and laugh, cause my resume, my history speak for itself. And the artists and the different, the artists know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.